Oh, I'm so hungover. Why are you like this? <laughs> Day three. We're on, day three. Nice. on the way to Menton and Monaco. Yeah, not like. This is India. <laughs> no, Japan, where really they like push people on. There's actually people that push, I've, like, like workers India, India. that push you onto the train. But yeah, we're not at that stage yet. No. But we are pretty crammed. There's absolutely no room to move. Finally managed to get a seat, but we're only like two more stops away from Menton. And then we're gonna go Monte Carlo on the way back. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna be struggling on this bus bus journey, this train journey, I should say. Not in a good way. That's hundred percent sure. and we're just trying to figure out where to go and um, coming off the train it was pretty much like an industrial site and there's not really a clear way to go you kind of got either left or right not even straight ahead so we're just trying to get our bearings and then decide where we're going i feel so much better coming off that train but i still feel pretty rough so i don't know maybe i just need to hear the dog get another drink down then and i'll be back on it but um at this moment in time i'm Still feeling pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> so number two in the top ten attractions within Menton is a uh, uh, historic cemetery. Oh, we're in Teddy. My interest peaks. <laughs> number twelve is also a cemetery. <laughs> Lots of death in Menton. Lots of death. We'll kick a dust at a grave, graveyards, super light. Yeah. Ooh. Lemons. Lemons. Maybe you get to pick them. Yeah. What is it? The theme of Menton is lemon. I don't know it's why. It's so. Well, there's an archangel, Michael, Mike, Michael. Yeah. And I think it's intriguing to him. Lemon. Citron. Citron lemon. Did you pick up? It's a Toblerone cookie. Oh my gosh. It's not very. Yeah. Would you looking for it to be more um? No, no, no. I just mean it's not. Love it. What's Please. the word? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, okay. I'm not tasting the culture. Oh, I see what you mean. 
Private moment between two friends. It's <laughs> two guys. <laughs> Kid almost got wiped out. So, what we've got a salmon today in our garden. lunch in this place called Galba and just waiting on our lunch order to arrive I've got a lovely little smoothie to help the soul what is your it's passion it fruit is. Oh. It, it, here. it is funny looking bruschetta I've got a lovely panini and my Caesar salad with a bowl of Caesar sauce Right. Oh, sorry. Right, you're a bruschetta. Yeah, it was fine. I think it's just not what, what I envisaged to is. It's just more like a pizza rather than actually what was it for? Some fresh tomatoes. Mozzarella. Oil, 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 and like bread. And just like so. Yeah, it was okay. Um, Solid 
3 out of 10 and I think it's going to be about £87 for our lunch today. <laughs> It's just endless little boaties and I honestly get the feeling that like in Amsterdam there's just heaps and heaps of bicycles but over here it's just heaps and heaps of boats and like there's some of the bikes in Amsterdam that have been abandoned there's like been left for years and years and I wonder if it's kind of the same here because there's so many and surely like someone's uh, you know unfortunately passed away and they've just left their boat and hasn't told anyone that they actually had a boat because it was something that they did on the side. So yeah, I wonder if there's any boats here that have just been completely abandoned and they're just left alone, never to be used again on the sea. It's a shame. Right, you got to choose a boat in this little bit here now. What would you go for? Yeah, you've got to choose one in this little bit here. Oh, yeah. That one there. That's very James Bond. That is very James Bond. Oh, yeah. There's a boat guy that me and Scott followed. What's his name again? He's basically Harry. Harry. He's on in um, YouTube. He's got these videos, and he basically goes around the like, UK. It's smaller than that. Yeah, it's like it's a smaller maybe smaller than that thing there. Um, and he's done it up, and he is going around the UK, and he's now come up to Scotland, but he's on the west side. We haven't actually watched one of his videos in a, in a while because I think with COVID and things broke down, you had to get redone again. But yeah, um, I'd like to see where he, he gets to and I'd love to see if he ever came to Aberdeen, if he got all the way around because then I would like to go down to like, say if he came in like Stonehaven way and like give him a little wave and be like, hello, we follow you. So yeah, it's, it's definitely something, if you haven't watched it, it's quite an interesting watch and it's, um, the little areas that he docks into as well is pretty cool like some of the places in the UK you just don't think that actually that is, that is in the UK because um, some of the water is like crystal clear as well but yeah if you don't follow him you should and you should watch his videos they're very very good wait into little shopping as a kid you used to just love coming into stuff like this like all the snorkeling sets and all the floaties. They still love stuff like that. It's, well, again, you don't really get to go on holidays like this much nowadays, but kind of wanting to go. Oh. Just train of thoughts just left me just because I'm coming in and out. It's like a kid's store, which is very, very bizarre. Like outside is to do with like holiday kind of vibe, and then now we're in a kid's store. These little miniature bags, I love you, I would love that. Little handbags as well. Oh, the hats. Yes, I love a bit of 
Is it like, I don't even know what kind of. I love that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's like something a cat would go in. Wouldn't it? A little cat. Put Luna in it. Yeah. Yeah. All the hats as well. Give him a big vibe. This is why I never brought mine, which is very sad. But yeah, very bizarre. Oh, lottery ticket. I'm going to put one on. <laughs> I'm definitely going to put on a lottery ticket if we can. No, that's okay. Thank you so much. Just bought a little Euro million. So if this comes in, baby, I'll be buying a boat off the, <laughs> off the south of France. Get a little, a little dinghy and park it up beside Nice and then go around to Monaco with it. <gasps> oh no! Oh my god, that was a close call. I ruined the chances now. I'm gonna fold it and put it away in the bag before it loses again. If it comes in, what are you gonna get? Jet ski. <laughs> 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 first and second options be jet ski, jet ski. <laughs> yeah. Where are we to go now? How much is it? Walk up this. I don't know what's it saying. The lotto. Does it tell you the total there? Like, it should it have. tell you here. I thought it would. No. No. No, I'm still going to give you the total in there. No. This is proper credit. Yeah, this is like on the way into the maze where you can walk up. But it's quite a small place. So when you choose, you can look at the There's definitely a story behind this street, isn't there? There we go. Must be half past or quarter past. Oh. oh, we could have. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. Terry, we need your help. Could have been us, but uh, not today. What's it called when you're ordained? Ordained. Ordained. That would be so nice. Oh, I need to get a little bit of money. <laughs> yeah. I don't ordain you. It's almost like. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds quite nice. I'm glad that you didn't ordain you. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, ordain you. These steps are not too bad. Oh, the roses. Was it rice to get a chuck, isn't it? Just trekked all this way up and we're not even getting into the cemetery. Look at us absolutely sweating buckets. We're not even getting in. We can kind of see a little bit. But yeah, it's closed. It's a bit odd because it's got the dates of the year <laughs> and the times to the day. So it should technically still be open, but all locked up. So now plan B is to walk back down into Menton and get the train. There's another wedding. Really, really quiet though. I know it's super quiet.
we are all dressed up, refreshed, and away to go and get a little drink and then supper in the little town of Nice. So we need to actually find somewhere to drink and get something to eat. But I think we're going to head to the right hand side when we hit the promenade and see what that side has to offer this time. What are you thinking for the bill? 191. 169. I think 183. And how was your meal? Um, my meal was class, it took about an hour and a half to come, but when it did come, oh boy. Very good. I give it a solid. Because yours was poor seven on a time. Mine was delicious. I would give it a 10. It was good. Oh. The meal. My meal. The experience was large. Okay. Yeah, the experience got slightly tarnished with the time delay and unfortunately your meal was twice. But my my pasta was really good. So I'd give the pasta an easy an easy like Eight, eight and a half. But experience yes, a little bit louder. So I'm gonna say that it costs about 145, 47 pounds. Um, the only issue was with my meal, they did. So um, it came and it was just super cold, like really cold. I've been sitting out for like a day probably. Terry and Scott both tasted it and they were like, no, nah, not acceptable. We get a new one. So they brought a new one out and it was still cold, still freezing cold. Um, so they offered to make another one, but I just thought I'd be absolutely mortified if for a third time it was still cold. So no. Um, now I have nothing in my stomach, I'm starving, I've had a little bit of bread and we're going to have some ground beef from McDonald's. Place to go to, wasn't it? Wild. Wild. You were shaking it, weren't you? Shaking, shaking, shaking. Shaking your booty. No, but I would highly recommend if you ever come to me to go to La Havana. La Havana? La Havana? La Havana? Who knows? La Havana. La Havana. La Havana. La Havana. Um, definitely go there, it was such a good vibe and their tapas as well looked delicious but we obviously just went for some drinks but yeah it was so good and the lady was singing live like Hispanic slash French songs we think and she nailed it, absolutely nailed it, nailed it, nailed it but at the same time there was obviously music on when they were breaking which got everyone up and dancing so yeah I loved it. We're in getting some frites. Oh McDonald's. Because it's the only thing that's open now until half past twelve. No, oh, look at other places. No, I don't think there is. You just want some chips. Some well, tibets. I do want my grand frites. Because who doesn't want grand frites? But yeah. A little snack snack before we make our move to the next bar. Uh, I think we're going to a craft bar next because these lads want the little beers. They've been drinking cocktails all night, so that might change. I'm waiting for my Grand Frit to be called out. And um, and the trois quatre cinq six sept huit neuf dix. Yeah, I've forgotten already. I don't know what number this is going to be. Um, and the trois quatre cinq six sept huit neuf neuf 
Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Neuf, sept, neuf, sept, neuf, sept. I'll kind of, I'll listen out for that. Neuf, sept, neuf, sept. What are you doing? <laughs> It's <laughs> my French. Come on, to find her. Come on, find her. Oh, 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 God. Mm. Right, I'm Ooh la la. Oh, 97. That's me. Come on down. Come on down. Nuff set. Nuff set. Oh. Boom. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Mm. Expensive pasta? No. 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 Grand Prix? No. One. No. One. 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 Sizzlum. Sizzlum. It's a shame. Well, it was a shame. It was a shame because the pasta was very nice. Mm. I think very tasty. Just had everything you wanted. My pasta Rock. hit the belly and it was beautiful. But mm, it's not even that. My pasta was delicious. It was just totally It tasted cold. good too. Uh -huh. But I can confirm. Iceberg. Dead ahead. Anyway. And instead. <laughs> and instead, what she's got is Grand Prix. Uh, um, I it burned my lip. Grand Prix. Get my another cold sore. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, Monsieur, Monsieur Terry, uh, Lindsay. Oh, rain. Oh, rain. Oh, yeah. rain. Mm -hmm. Walking ahead. There's rain ahead. I know, there's a rain. That is it, it's coming down. Coming down. Well, mm -mm, rain on me. Nope. Mm -mm. That is all. Good night. Mwah. Sponsorship will continue in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>
2.25 a.m. And we're all pretty woozy Susies. I really want to try and find something to eat because I'm actually quite hungry. But there's nothing. Nothing is open. Everything is closed. So I'm going to have to starve till the morning, pretty much. Uh, there's a lovely pub at home and there's some crisps, so I can have some of that. But I'm wanting something girthy. I'm wanting something filthy. I want beige food and nothing like that is open close by so that is very disappointing very disappointing <laughs>